Hi, Captain Steve for Ocean Life Network, and today I'm on a cool catamaran, the Hammercat 35. There's a lot to like about this boat, but I want to start with looking at the big picture first. As I look around the boat, I'm seeing right away that there are no hard edges. Everything is radius. Rounded corners makes things not only much more comfortable, but easy on the eyes. Look at these cap rails. They start at 14 inches in the stern and max out at the bow at 24 inches. They top out at an average 31 inches off the deck, so there's a safety factor built into this boat, but there's also a comfort level. When we're sitting around having cocktails and talking with each other and enjoying company, you can sit right on them and it's a comfortable place to sit and relax. Our test boat has an upgraded Rockford Fonsgate stereo system with eight speakers, two subwoofers, and two amplifiers. Take a look at this console. Notice how not only is the panel at a sharp angle, but look at the radius curve to the whole top of this panel. It's so much more complicated to do something like this because it's harder to break out of a mold. So there's no real reason to do it other than aesthetics, but Hammercat actually goes to the trouble of doing that. Look at this deck. It's bowed outward, so any water that comes aboard gets channeled over to the side, and then you can see that there's a dip to the outside, bringing water right out and then overboard again. Now let's do a deep dive into the functionality of the Hammercat 35, and we'll start with this spacious cockpit. I mean, it's a catamaran, so there's so much room. Five feet four and a half by 11 feet five inches side to side, just so much room to work here and you can do so much with this. Make it into an entertainment platform, a fishing platform, a super yacht tender. So much versatility being allowed by Hammercat. There's a door to the stern, bringing in big tuna. Maximum 40 inches wide. We can also get access to the swim platform and look at that beefy ladder in between the two engines. Now if you don't wanna bring your fish in in the stern, take a look at this. There's a whole nother door right to the side, and if we open it, notice that it opens outward, and we can lift the door out and bring it right inside so you've got a wide open space to not only work your fish, but make a good boarding area. Because this boat is resin infused, everything is light but strong, and this is a perfect example of that. Strong, but also light. If you are bringing big fish aboard, where are you gonna put them? In one of four insulated self-draining fish boxes, two in the stern, Two at midships, you've got just under 600 gallons of insulated in-deck fish storage. To the port quarter, there's a live well. It's 55 gallons. It's got a unique fill system that keeps the water swirling, and it's also pressurized. This is being filled from a sea chest right underneath the deck. You can see it right there. There's your two pumps feeding into this live well. Now to the opposite side, we've got the same thing, but in this case, it's used as storage, but we can also get this as a repeat live well, and there would be another sea chest underneath this deck. Me, well, because this is insulated, I'd be filling it up with ice and beer. Soda. Rod holders, there's 26 going around the boat, plus eight at the trailing edge of the hard top for a total of 34. Moving forward, two aft-facing seats with steps underneath. That's kind of a neat feature, a great place to sit while you're underway. In the center is a stainless steel sink, two combination rod holder, beverage holders, and then there's a storage area for tackle underneath there. Now, this can be changed out for a more expanded fishing version. These two seats can go, you can make it into a bigger rigging station, more tackle storage, sink, bait prep area. We can even get an outdoor kitchen. There's under gunnel rod storage. We already talked about the clever draining system. That brings us to the side decks, which typically 19 inches, 25 here. And that narrows down as we go forward to a minimum of 21 inches. Now look at what we've got going on here. In this configuration, we've got two seats just ahead of the console, large coffin boxes. These we can open up, use it for storage, fish locker, or anything we'd like. Now, from this point here forward, this is a module. So we've got the coffin box option here. We can take this coffin box out, 
just have these two seats and then wide open space for walking around and entertaining. Or we can still remove the coffin box, have these two seats with U-shaped seating going all the way around the bow. A well thought out feature about these seats is that they're beveled up on the side so it really holds you into position. And of course we can have pop-up shades in the bow and the stern so the whole length of the boat can be shaded. I already talked about the radius curves and how nice that is on the eyes along with being comfortable. Notice also the rails that are integrated into this area, plus it's finished off underneath. The head is accessed from the side of the console. It's a wide entrance to the head compartment, the trade-off being that the door has to be big so it hits the side bulwarks, but there's guards against there so it's a known issue and let it happen, no problem. There's a recessed deck area, so you've got four feet, three inches of headroom, three feet, eight inches of sitting headroom. I usually like to see a grab handle or something to help in accessing the head, but Hammercat was thoughtful enough to engineer this little lip right here, so it makes it easy to get in and out. From my eye, there's a lot to like about this boat, not only from an aesthetic standpoint, but from a functional standpoint. It's simplistic. There aren't a lot of complicated things added onto this boat, things that are gonna fail a year, two years down the road. This one, it seems like nothing is made to fail. It's one of those boats that you can just get in, turn the key, go boating, and enjoy it. How about that for a concept? It's a boater's boat. Add to the fact that the boat is unsinkable, it's NNMA certified, ABYC certified, and CE certified. So there's a lot of safety going on with this boat. It's also a really nice handling boat, but that's another video, be sure to look for it. For now, this is my full features inspection of the Hammercat 35. For Ocean Life Network, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.